Más palabras en español si quiere. Oh, darle las gracias a todos y muy contento de, de estar involucrado en la carrera de Jaime Munguía, ser, ser copromotor de él, para mí es un honor y sinceramente un muchacho como lo dije, es un muchacho leal que trabaja muy fuerte y sobre todo que entrega todo de sí, viene siempre a pelear y es un mexicano que pelea como mexicano, arriba del ring. Oscar. Sí, no, gracias a toda la prensa, primeramente, a todos los fans eh, que están escuchando ahora. Estamos muy orgullosos de Jaime Munguía. Estamos eh, al pendiente, obviamente, de, de los fans. Eh, los fans siempre lo, nos preguntan cuándo va a pelear Jaime con Canelo, con Benavides, con, con los mejores del mundo. Esta pelea con John Ryder sí va a ser una pelea difícil y fuerte y eso lo saben, eh, como, 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 como Freddy Roach y Jaime Munguía y obviamente por esa razón están bien preparados, listos para, para la guerra y, y estamos eh, muy contentos con, con, con Jaime y con su carrera y pues primero Dios que todo salga bien. Jaime para ti. Con un nuevo entrenador en tu esquina, ¿qué tan difícil ves esta pelea en contra de John Ryder? Eh, bueno, eh, yo creo que es una pelea eh, pues difícil, ya que John Ryder es un peleador eh, pues con mucha experiencia, ha tenido eh, experiencia mundial, este, pero la verdad que estamos trabajando muy fuerte para, para la pelea con John Ryder y yo creo que Freddy pues nos va a ayudar mucho en, en, en la esquina. John Ryder es un muy tough fighter a world-class experienced fighter, but I believe that with, with Freddy in my corner, we're going to be okay in this fight. Jaime, ¿tú crees que necesitas el knockout, y tú sabes la pregunta, en contra de John Ryder para encontrar, conseguir esa pelea en contra de Canelo Álvarez? Eh, bueno, no, no creo, eh, no creo que sea como fuerza, obviamente no estoy desesperado por no quiera a John Ryder, Creo que puedo, creo que tengo las habilidades y creo que voy a llegar eh, lo suficientemente preparado para noquearlo. Este, y pues esperemos que así sea, así va a ser. I don't think that's necessary, but I have the enough the strength to do it. If it happens, and I believe it's going to happen, then whatever happens, happens. All right, if everything goes according to plan against Ryder, do you feel like you can fight Canelo this year? ¿Tú crees que si todo sale como está planeado, vencer a John Ryder, puedes enfrentarte a Canelo el próximo año? Eh, pues puede ser que sí, eh, vamos a, a trabajar muy fuerte para que así sea, este, pues vamos a, a buscar eh, sin, obviamente sin menospreciar, sin hacer menos a John Ryder, creo que como lo dije al principio, eh, lo respeto mucho y vamos a trabajar muy fuerte para, para ganar esa pelea y después de ahí que, que vengan las, las peleas grandes, yo creo que eh, pues tenemos ya bastante tiempo eh, buscando la oportunidad y no se ha llegado, pero pues aquí seguimos eh, trabajando fuerte y esperando la oportunidad. I believe so, Not, nothing to take away from John Ryder, but I believe we can beat them. And if that happens, then we will keep on fighting to look for the big fights. And that's what I, I'm gonna keep on doing, keep fighting for that opportunity to get the big fights. Jaime, para ti, ¿cuál es tu nivel de emoción para lo que es el próximo año 2024? Eh, bueno, pues la verdad estamos muy emocionados, eh, tanto mi equipo como yo. Este, creo que el 24 va a ser un gran año. Creo que vienen eh, grandes cosas para mi carrera, para mí, pa, para todos nosotros. Este, como lo dije, estoy muy emocionado, eh, me estoy preparando con todo para, para John Ryder, para salir eh, ganador con la mano en alto este, y pues después de ahí eh, listo para, para alguna pelea grande o para un campeonato del mundo. As I've said before, 2024, we are very excited, myself, my team, we are looking forward to John Ryder and after that, Then we'll go for a big fight, for a big title fight. All right. Uh, Fernando, let's start with you. Last time we saw Jaime take on Dervichenko, what did you think of that fight? Well, uh, it was a great honor to be involved in that card. Uh, obviously, he's, that fight is one of the uh, fights who are going to be mentioned for fight of the year. It was unbelievable, and uh, we knew that Dervichenko didn't have luck with the judges in previous fights. But this fight was just sensational. Uh, ending up, ended up in the 12th round, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. So it was great. And I, I think Jaime proved that uh, he's in the biggest level because that guy, we all know he beat Triple G in, in his fight. He didn't get the, the, the judges card, but uh, 
We 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 all we all saw the fight, and we all know that uh, that Evanchenko beat Triple G, and Jaime beat him all. So I was very proud. All right, Freddie, for you, you're now working with Mungia. What do you like about this young man? Uh, he's a hard worker, and uh, he trains really hard every day. Uh, good good sparring, and um, I think he's gonna be a future world champion for sure. A future world champion, Freddie Roach is saying. Oscar, you worked with Freddie. Now you're working with him as a boxer, promoter. What was it like when you went out there, and what can Jaime learn from him? Well, Freddie Roach definitely has the experience. He obviously is one of a few, if not maybe the only one, who uh, is literally a legend inside the ring when he's training you. He, he, he knows styles. He knows how to get you in great shape. But he also knows strategy. And uh, when you have a fighter like Jaime Munguia, who's already there, who already has the skill, who already has the power, who has, it's, it's a matter of fine tuning um, and sharpening his tools. I strongly feel that Freddie Roach and Jaime will, will work amazing together and just take, take his skill to another level. I mean, watch out, 168 pounds. Well, we, we've been talking, uh, Golden Boy and, and I, Oscar and I, and we felt that uh, uh, everybody knows uh, Ryder, Ryder in, uh, in the last part of his last fight with uh, Canelo. He was doing very good. He was doing, ex ex uh, you know, he was hitting Canelo with punches that we didn't see Canelo get hit before. And uh, I, I really believe, and Oscar believes that if we, if we want to be in the ring with the best, we need to we need to start beating the best, and uh, I think Ryder is, is one of the best of the division, and uh, we're hoping to get an opportunity with Canelo. Let's try to finish Ryder before Canelo. All right, so you want that Canelo fight? That's what you want. Oh well, I think if everything I, goes I, right with Ryder, I, I think it's not me who wants the fight. I think it's all Mexico, all the people of the boxing. Everybody wants to see that fight. Uh, two Mexican guys going against each other. Like we were talking, Oscar and I, how long since we haven't seen uh, quali uh, an elite, elite Mexican fight against a Mexi you know, between Mexican and a Mexican. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, and I, I really believe that everybody wants to see this fight. And Freddie, before we even start talking about that, you got to get through John Ryder. What impresses you the most about Jaime Munguia's work ethic? Uh, he's really a good puncher, and he punches really hard with both hands. And uh, you know, he trains hard every every day, and uh, he's ready to go 12 rounds every day of the week. Every day, as long as they're doing that work at Wildcard Boxing in Hollywood after training in Tijuana. Oscar, you keep saying Jaime Munguia is going to put the division on notice. Why are you so confident in that? Well, the addition. <clears throat> Of, of Freddie Roach is, um, is a huge confidence booster for anyone who has him as a trainer. I think, uh, I think Jaime, has, Jaime has a great team behind him, but it ultimately starts with Jaime, and he has, he has what it takes. He has what it takes to, uh, to, to keep chipping away and fighting the tough fights and getting to the top, and he's not going to stop until he gets to the top. So, you know, we strongly feel like, like Fernando's saying, um, imagine, imagine Jaime beating Ryder and then a potential Canelo fight, an all Mexican duel. You know, that's, it's, it would be a huge honor as a promoter. It would be a huge honor to be involved in an all Mexican duel uh, uh, with uh, Canelo and, uh, and uh, Jaime Munguia. We haven't seen that type of fight at that level since maybe Eric Morales Barrera, um, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, Azabache Martinez. These types of fights are very special. So Jaime is very close. And obviously it's all up to Canelo Alvarez because, you know, like he says, he... He's the king, and he chooses whoever he wants to fight. But uh, Jaime Munguia um, is, uh, is just chipping away 
and, and doing what he does best to get noticed, to get that recognition, to be at the top. So maybe one day Canelo can, can choose him to fight. Or in Turning Stone in upstate New York when you fought Saddam Ali, the only Mexicans there were Jaime, you and me, right? And he knocked down Saddam Ali, we came back and we're like, wait a minute, this young man is on the verge of something. How proud are you of the way that Munguia has taken his career? Well, I'm, I'm very proud and uh, also it's been an honor handling his career with uh, this great company with Golden Boy in association with them. Uh, it's, been, it's been a very good, very good ride and uh, we, we've been honored and, and of course very proud of Jaime. Uh, he's a very loyal kid, a very hardworking kid and uh, working with some athlete like him it's it's all it's always an honor always an honor and and uh, i'm very proud of him very very proud and oscar you said at the beginning of the press conference is about developing fighters getting them to the next level it's about going through the battles the war test to when you are fighting for that championship belt you've been there done that you know how to react when they brought you jaime munguia and you've developed them did you expect to be here today no you never expect um anything as a promoter um you know, when you meet somebody, you you hope that you know they they're loyal. You hope they're good people. You hope that you know we can all work together for one goal, and that's to take Jaime to the top. And that's exactly what has happened day in and day out. You know, we we're a great team, and it starts with the fighter. When when the fighter lends himself to fight the tough fights, when he lends himself to get uh, a trainer who's gonna take him to another level, you know, when he trusts uh, his team, his promoters, it makes everything, it makes everything that much easier. It makes it pleasant and um, I, uh, I'm living a dream, literally. You know, I, I, I literally wanna see these young fighters, these young champions become become world champions, become stars. And, uh, you know, Jaime Munguia is on his way. And Oscar, January 27th in Phoenix, Arizona, a spot that Jaime Munguia, what should we expect that night? I think fireworks. I think, uh, I think uh, a, a new and improved Jaime Munguia with Freddie Roach in his corner. I mean, people are curious. Wow, what is, what is he gonna learn? How is he gonna grow? What is he going to use inside the ring against a tough, tough, experienced fighter in, in John Ryder? Because you have, to, you have to take this into consideration. John Ryder is going to come out with more experience. He's going to come out as a better fighter than he did fighting Canelo Alvarez. Facing the very best in Canelo... It elevates your game, and I'm sure John Ryder is coming out to uh, to take out Jaime's head, and so you have to be ready, you have to be prepared. So, I think we're going to see another great performance from Jaime. We're going to see another great fight, and uh, it's going to be exciting. 